Welcome back to Waterpark Rangers Let's Play Harry Potter the Chamber of Secrets. In the last episode, we defeated the Basilisk, and this episode, I'm going to cut ahead right here. We are going to do a lot of trekking around Hogwarts to try and wrap up this 100% goal that I've uh, made for myself. I decided that this would be a 100% playthrough, and although we couldn't do the GBA connectivity, there's still the lost and found items and remaining wizard cards to be had, so I'm going to finish them up right now. Number 52. Felix Summerby. Also, uh, you might have noticed from the uh, little number in the corner, we now have over 540 house points. My guess is that a ton of them were, uh, were rewarded for defeating the Basilisk. And we're going to get even more now that we are looking for the remaining lost and found items. And that will max out the number of house points we can get. I know we can't lose anymore because uh, at this point, this is the last day, there will be no more prefix. So, um... The, the locations for the lost and found items are very vague, but um, you're going to see them all here, but the way that they're described on the board get uh, get very vague for these last few ones. So you kind of just have to search around, and I'm just showing you where their actual locations are. So that's the first one. It's uh, another one of those weird books. And I think the next one is a book also. So first we're going to do the lost and found items, then I'm going to go for the remaining wizard cards. And it was pretty confusing to find out um, exactly where all of them are, but once again, I have to thank Game of Hikus. They have a really good chart there that shows where they all are. Number 54, Gaspard Chingleton. The next one is located, um, it says it could be anywhere, but I know that it's in the library just because I found it before. So that's going to be back on the second floor. And there are two items there, so you might notice that I'm going to be doing a bit of cutting in this episode, just because we're going to be doing so much backtracking. But for things that aren't exactly obvious where the location is, I will show you how you walk there. Uh, but for the most part, there are going to be some, some things that are cut around, because um, we're going to have two more trips to the library, and I don't feel the need to show it twice. One should be sufficient to show you how to get there. As if you hadn't been to the library enough already. So, it's in one of the corners, and it's in one of the corners, alcoves, with one of those little pedestals, podiums or whatever. Holidays with hags. So, I'm going to cut back to the uh, Gryffindor Tower right after we go through the door. Wattlebird. I just left in the uh, Wattlebird thing just because I always enjoy seeing him say that. I don't know why. So with that, we have one more Lost and Found item to get, then we'll have them all. And that one is more precise, they tell you that it's around the library areas. And we got another upgrade. Number 55, Honoria Nutco. <laughs> Reformation of Hags. And a lot of people have pointed out just a couple seconds ago, um, the Mona Lisa is strangely inside the uh, Gryffindor common room for whatever reason, and I still have to figure out why. And there's Lee Jordan's giant tarantula, and unlike Neville's toad, that one you just pick up, and I, when I first read about it, I thought that you'd actually kind of get to fight it, like you fought Neville's toad. I say fought, but, you know, had to knock it out before you could catch it. I thought they would have something for the tarantula. So that does it, we have all the lost and found items. Now we just have to return it. But before we do, um, I'm just going to pick up one of the wizard cards here. There were a couple wizard cards uh, that we have not gotten yet, and one of them is in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. It's cleverly hidden behind one of these pillars. I'm not sure if you can get it at night, but I know it's here in the day at least. Number 13. Andros the Invincible. Today is also the day that we're going to have to deal with a new feature uh, with the wizard cards, and I say new, but if this is the first time I'm showing it, I'm going to cut back. Um, it's doubles. You know, I might have mentioned before that there are doubles of wizard cards. And this is where those doubles come into play. If we're going to get all of the cards, there's some that you can only get by trading away extra copies. And so we're going to have to find doubles. And we're, we have no more lost and found items to find. Number 56, Gideon Crumb. Oh, uh, the last one was just another weird sister's card. So I'm going to start by trading with what we've got and then I will buy more after we trade what we can. There are some specific people to trade with. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? 
I'll give you card number 94, Merton Graves, for number 31, Balfour Blaine. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Balfour Blaine. It would be amazing if there was a David Blaine card. Number 94, Merton Graves. Another Weird Sisters card. Do you want to swap Famous Witches and Wizards cards? I'll give you a card number 81, Kwang Po, for number 43, Cyprian Yaudel. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. So, for each of these, we need two of the cards that they're asking us for. Just how to clear that up. Number 81, Kwang Po. Okay, so these are the people you can trade with on this floor. They look just like any other student, but the fact is there are some students who just won't trade at all and will just say stupid quotes that uh, they're programmed to say. But particular ones on floors 7, 4, and I think either 2 or 1 trade get with you. I famous witches and wizards cards for you. I'll give you card number 75, Mungo Bullum, for number 13, Andros the Invincible. I don't have that card. Now we got that card earlier, but the reason he's saying we don't have uh I we don't have that card is because we need two of it. I'll give you a card number sixty-one. Have a look, sweeting. For a number seventy-seven, normal twonk. I don't have that card. And maybe the same thing with that guy. Also, I'm glad the Quidditch season's over. <laughs> I think it's a stupid game. Do you collect famous witches? Oh wow, lots of people will trade with here. I'll give you card number seventy-eight, or see no thrusting. For number 98, Dimpfna from Marge. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. First thing of interest I want to point out is one of the kids we talked to sounded like he had Malfoy's voice actor. Number 78, Orsino Thruston. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is that one of those kids uh, who said uh, the Quidditch season is over and I think it's a stupid game, that would probably explain why there's nobody in the stands. Probably most of the kids at Hogwarts share his opinion. Apparently the uh, the teachers do too. The only one who ever showed up was Dumbledore just to give the trophy. All right, so there's more people to trade with here. Do you want to swap famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number twenty three, Glenda Chittock, for number twenty seven, Mirabella. Ah, uh, we need two of those. I don't have that card. We only have one. You played really well in yesterday's match, Potter. Okay, that's nice, but I need to trade. Do you collect famous witches and wizard cards? I'll give you card number two, Cornelius Agrippa, for a number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. I don't have that card. Oh, Gregory the Smarmy was one of the first cards we got, but once again, we need the double. So you can see we're going to have a lot of trekking to do to find all these uh, doubles. And a lot of them we're going to have to buy off Fred and George. So that means lots and lots of bean grinding. So, it's all going to be off screen, but just so you know, every time we go up to buy stuff, typically that means we're going to have to come back here and get up to 90 beans, because it costs 30 per card. And also, at this point, this is where they start stocking the extra cards, um, just in case you missed any, so that's nice too. Meet you then. Um, I think I just should clarify the kinds of things that uh, Fred and George sell in their shop at this point. Number one, I think this is the only time you can get to their shop during the day. And also, uh, Percy no longer patrols this hallway, though it's not entirely obvious here. And the two different cards that they're going to sell in their shop at this time, now that we bought all the cards that can only be found at their shop. Um, let's see, there are some new ones that will only appear if you've beaten the Basilisk. There are the doubles that appear that you can't find anywhere else. How much is this famous Witches and Wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every and the beans. there's one more like kind, that, I please. think. Oh no, the other thing I wanted to mention was that That's one of our spare cards. Uh, there are all these collection, random items that are appearing again. I think it might be some kind of glitch, because you don't get any other upgrades for buying them. How much is this famous witch and they say the card? same quote for every There's single wizard card that you pick up. Pretty much saying it's one of our extra I'd cards. Like to buy that, please. If I may say so. An excellent choice, yeah, things Mr. like Potter. that. It's an excellent choice. They no longer go into descriptions about it. Number 77, Norvell Twonk. See, there's a double. Um, now we have two of normal Twonk, so we can trade one of them off without losing that also um, that position. That's one of our spare cards. Good luck with completing your collection. And you do need to, in fact, buy all of these cards because if you're going for 100 percent. You will need to trade them off or have them one way or another. Number 98, Dimpfner Firmage. 
So there's a double of Dimna Fernage. Fermage. And I've skipped back to re-entering after we got some more Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. Because we do need to buy a few more cards off their shop. And so cards that you've missed from before, doubles, or the ones that only appear after uh, defeating the Basilisk, are now all available for you to buy. And it might be a little bit confusing, but the bottom line is just buy all the cards they have in their shop at this point, and you'll be good to go. In addition to trading them off and finding all the treasure chests. This famous Witches and Wizards card? 30 Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I'd like to buy that, please. Good choice there, Harry. Once again, there are little vague quotes. Good or excellent, but never a description. Number 13, Andros the Invincible. So there's the double of the one we just found from the, um, How much from Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. And, wizards card? 30, 30 bucks and I just showed you, to, uh, showed you all the kids that you I can trade with. I don't think they appear anywhere else. They always just appear on those particular no floors. And yes, soon we will complete our collection. Ooh, another life upgrade. Number 27, Mirabella Plunkett. How much is his famous witches and wizards First time I played this, I was a little bit worried that there would be like a glitch so that I would miss a particular card. Um, but I don't think there is a way for you to get a card that can't appear here in this room. Because even if like all the stands will be filled with cards, after you buy some, more will uh, fill in. Like for instance, we could have only gotten that one from uh, one of Neville's mini games, but since we weren't there on the correct day, we couldn't get it. And instead we had to get it from Fred and George's shop. Because that's a single, like, rare card that you can only get that way. And I've just come back after grinding again. It's really repetitive for me. I'm um, probably less for you, though you still do have to get a general idea of how, much, how many times I've had to go back and forth just to get enough beans to buy these stupid cards. Though I think we almost had them all. Maybe there's, like, one or two more to buy? I'm not sure. Mm, there they are. How much is this famous Witches and Wizards card? 30, 30 and every beans. nothing really happens if you buy these extra items. I'm not going to even do it for fun, no just because I don't be feel like running anymore. Harry. Now that we have all the beans that we need, and we don't have to buy any more cards, I'm never going back to that room again. Number 60, Laverne de Montmorency. How much is this famous and finally, the last card, card we ever have to buy. 30 Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I'd like to buy that, please. That's been fun to hear. That's one of our spare cards. Good luck with completing your collection, Harry. Number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. Okay, uh, that just leaves trading these Stinky, final cards off, I think. Catching you. But I didn't tell you that. Hey, yeah, that's a pretty useless Did piece I? of information, Fred, George, whoever it was that just said that. And I'm just taking the secret passage back because it's fun. Uh, the secret passages are pretty confusing, but there is a definite layout for how they work. Anyway, next episode we are going to be wrapping up uh, the cards, our 100% run, and the game. So, see you then.